Welcome to another exciting edition of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And it's our favorite time of the week. Time to tell you what you need to find. And why don't you tell us what you found? All right. I'm coming in heavy with a magazine. It's uh, You can call it a newspaper. It's oversized. But uh, Village Voice. It's in New York City. Uh, low production. 93 Andy Warhol. 100 bucks. Andy Warhol. And anything Andy Warhol does sell... Um, I've seen a few people out there give a few bolos out on things. He's done a lot of different things. There's a couple of kids' books that he did. Um, and I know that he did a few album covers or, or covers for 45s that if you know that he did them, you can get good, good money out of. Um, I don't really deal very much in 45s, but I will be keeping my eyes open for, for anything at all like that that looks like it might be Andy Warhol. Yeah, any, any New York City magazines are usually better than 20 bucks a piece and these are super rare well one of the big things with, with uh andy is he became to prominence in the 60s well <clears> late <throat> 50s early 60s he was a, a regular artist like a commercial artist so that was when he was doing that kind of work so you can actually own a warhol for a cheap price that's the couple of the children's books that i sell that's kind of how i sell them as is hey you know you pay 20 dollars and own an original or not an original but you can own a warhol for 20 dollars. <laughs> so they do sell uh, you got to keep your eyes open though nice all right, uh, I hate listing these, but uh, posters from the Ohio Hall, Toxic Avenger. I think I took a forty-five dollar uh, offer on it, but you know, we got Troma it. Films. We, yeah, they did a lot of good movies. I don't know. You ever see that one? No. Oh my gosh, <laughs> do you like low-budget movies? Sometimes, if I want to laugh, yes. Yes, there <laughs> you definitely will laugh seeing the Toxic <laughs> Avenger. And somebody else loved it as much as I, well, loved it more than me because I wouldn't give you give, give you that kind of money for it. Exactly. So they loved it more than me. Yeah. Classic movie. Got next here. Uh, I do buy and sell comics. I collect comics. I don't talk about them much, but uh, this is just a high grade, you know, key uh, New Teen Titans number one. You know, went for I think 20 bucks. I took on this. That was uh, early 80s because right when I was starting to do, uh, well, I was going with my dad to comic shows and all that kind of thing. Those things were so hot, they couldn't keep them in stock. And uh, gonna give you a little bit of a tip over here. I may have given you this tip before. Uh, DC Comics Presents 26 was their first appearance, um, and a dealer had a, had books out 50 cents a piece, and I grabbed one of them that he had in there, and I made the mistake of only grabbing that book, <laughs> and when I brought it up to him, he goes, oh, that wasn't supposed to be in there, and took it out of my hands, and <clears throat> although I do wish I had that DC Comics Presents 26, I learned a very, very valuable lesson out of that. Uh, when you are buying multiples, or when you're buying things, you can find something really, really good in a box like that buy two or three other books and that way you can kind of cover that one up and you can say hey i got four of them out of your 50 cent box two dollars and hand them the two dollars because he had it in there for sale for 50 cents and he took it right out of my hands now i was a kid what am i going to do i was like oh okay um maybe if an adult maybe he would have sold it to who knows but very very valuable lesson crazy all right when was the last time you sold a larry bird item uh time ago <laughs> right, here we go i did get 1998 for this uh common sports illustrated but no mailing label okay, so no mailing maybe he's getting it autographed oh okay so kind of cool um normal si i got tens of thousands of these suckers and uh, i just bought a whole run of them too so but uh 20 bucks can't argue with that no not at all not at all that's uh, <clears throat> one of those out there you can look for yeah no one's the last time you sold two larry bird items in the same day never all right <laughs> here we go Larry Bird Leaf, uh, I think there's only two of these. It's a jersey card. Oh. Um, only two made. Num this is number one out of two. Uh, I think I took 60 bucks on this. So, but they, you'd think it'd be worth a lot more than that. But, you know, they go for 50 or 100 from this Legend series, you know. I guess probably one of the problems is they ha nobody's ever going to be able to get a complete Larry Bird collection right, right. of cards. Just not yeah. possible because there are too many one well, there's, yeah, there's different. Yeah, there's different players in it. We've sold... You know Tyson, all those guys, golfers. Right, right. And, you know, but I mean, there's no right. nobody can build a master Larry no. Bird collection yeah, at this point of cards. I mean, we could have when we were growing up on right. anybody because sure. there was no one of ones. Right. So somebody's probably collecting that series, or just knows somebody yeah. that's a Larry Bird collector and goes, "Oh, this is odd, you know, oddball yeah. enough that they need it." Yeah, two different buyers also. So oh, okay. Something's going on with Larry Bird. So yeah, right. I don't know. Wow. You know, good for him, good for me. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here next. Okay, so I picked up a local deal. Um, that had brochures, oh. catalogs, and 
we listed all these different wow. catalogs and they went for 50 to this is the you know big kahuna of them all 127 bucks bloomingdale's 1984 oh it's yeah. 84 my yeah. eyes are really bad i thought it was at 64 yeah. 1984 <laughs> oh my goodness gracious but, uh, yeah it, it, like it was, it was like 100 catalogs and they're all different you know, brands and stuff they all went for crazy money now one of the things that makes makes that difficult now i don't think you could have gotten more than 127 dollars but some of those for all we know could have famous uh Oh, models, models sure. all that yep. kind of thing from Actresses, back before they yep. were famous, all that sort of sure, thing. Absolutely. Um, maybe maybe that does have one, and two people knew it. You know, right. who even knows? Maybe exactly. you showed a few pictures, and somebody said, "Oh, that's yeah. so and so when they were younger." Right, right, yeah. Who knows? Sure, but sure. for one twenty-seven yeah. fifty, you can't argue. Let yeah. somebody else uh, make the money for knowing that. Exactly. Wow. Wow. Speaking of things from the nineteen eighties, nineteen nineties, magazines with with girls and teens and all that sort of thing sell from that era very very well um i picked up at the flea market sassy magazine now i did a lot of five they went for seven dollars a piece and a lot of five and these were not in good shape at all Hmm. Uh, corners creasing one of them had like five stickers right on the cover all that sort of thing now i had a picture of every cover um, you know, if you if you look at my description, they're rougher shape, mailing label, creases. One has sticker on covers. Uh, one came with the record, is missing the record. So I, you know, I came right out and said, hey, "Look, these are not very good shape." Yeah. And they still went for seven dollars a piece. Um, makes you wonder what they'd be worth if they were in high grade. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, if you come across Sassy Magazine, uh, my sister had them growing up, and I, she probably threw them out. Now that I think <laughs> about it, if not, if you're watching this, I'll buy them off of you. I'll give you fifty cents a piece. Uh, speaking of in the same genre same person at the flea market picked up five teen magazines for $44 mailing label one issue has clippings all are missing the tear out booklets so these are incomplete teen magazines and they went for almost $9 a piece Um, you know I got home I was excited about them then all of a sudden I said hey this is missing pages and then I noticed all of them again they came with some uh, little booklet in there you know how to do this how to do that you know 12 14 page booklet it's just missing Hmm. out of each of them I said well put them all in one lot who knows what will happen and now we know what will happen this next one shows perseverance and shows you that you need to trust your instinct Tricycle Magazine Buddhist Review. Hmm. I was out at a sale, and they had a bunch of these, and I bought them all. I think they were 50 cents a piece at the sale. I said, I've never seen these before. How many of these can there possibly be? Um, Listed them. Took a while. Took over a year. The person bought this and three others. Cannot argue with that sale whatsoever. Uh, Showed that, sure enough, trust your instincts. You see something you've never seen before, something oddball. It may take a while to find a buyer but somebody out there does want it. Hmm. This next one, one of the big things that you always need to do is have a good listing, a good title to draw people in. You know that as well as I do. Absolutely. I didn't do it. And the reason why I didn't do it is I didn't know what to say. I didn't give who made it. It did give almost no information whatsoever in it. Delicious Rabbit Recipes brochure, (laughs) 1944. No... No note on who put it out. No notes at all on anything other than that. I didn't know what else I could possibly say. You know, great eats? I don't know. Um, it took a while. It took three years to sell. I did get $15 out of it. I was real happy to get that out of a brochure. I don't know how much faster it would have sold had I said something else, and I don't know what else I could have possibly said. <laughs> Just one of those kind of deals. Um, next thing we've got over here, this was an insert in the newspaper. Yeah, uh cool and it had been sitting out in my garage for a long time not the best of shape had tears on it all that sort of thing finally found it and i put it on up uh i figured somebody is a coca-cola collector yeah. somebody out there doesn't have it and basically what had happened is they built a new plant here in rochester you've seen the coke plant sure. down over in upper falls yeah, yeah. they built that plant brand new at that time and it was all talking about you know who the contractors were on it and then the whole community all these different people took out advertisements in it saying you know hey so in hewlett packard thanks you know coca-cola for building in rochester you know all that you know xerox thanks all that sort of thing so it's definitely a very rare item just a question of finding somebody or other that wanted it it's not even old by coke standards really no not at all not at all 1977 but it's it's definitely a rare item now this next item is one of those 
if you have a chance to buy something that just looks interesting and you're out of your genre, take a chance on it if the price is right. Take a chance on me. Um, found this for a dollar at the flea market. Didn't know anything whatsoever wow. about it. Singer craft, practical device. I didn't know if it was complete. I knew nothing about it. The box was crushed, missing an end on the box, all that sort of thing. Took a couple of pictures. People asked me a couple of questions. I put it up at uh, 30 or $25 bid. It went up to $41, uh, wow. multiple bids on it. Nice. Uh, to this day, I still don't know exactly what you do with it. Uh, I guess you make rugs with it. I don't have any idea. But took a chance outside of what I know and was rewarded handsomely for it. So, so can't argue with that. And this last thing, I'm actually very, very glad to have sold because eBay probably would have ended it. Uh, what's eBay doing their crackdown on at this point? Like, um, was it um, African American? Black, Black, Black Americana, right? Confederacy, uh-huh. stuff like that. Yep. Now, I listed this in 2018. Oh, wow. Uh, Jack and Joe magazine, Snowman. If you look closely, one of the snowmen is holding up a Confederate flag. Hmm. I mentioned it. Uh, didn't even think about it, but mentioned it. Somebody made me an offer on it. I think they made me a $10 offer on it. And I said, I'd rather have $10 than a ding from eBay. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then I've got the item, which I can't sell. Took the $10. Um, if I do get this Jack and Jill again, probably list it but i certainly would not say confederate flag i'd probably say you know snowman abe lincoln something rather like that do not mention the confederate flag it is small enough that it probably would get by ebay as far as that went if you just had the picture of it up um now have you gone through your listings and typed in confederate and seen what you have and then ended them or? i am going to do that now <laughs> that you said that <laughs> probably a good idea a couple of weeks ago i ended all the black americana that i had i will do that with the confederate as well i mean i know at one point they weren't even allowing you to sell dukes of hazard yeah, stuff you, 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 you can't anymore again oh what they, i heard yeah yeah is it just if it has the confederate flag or is it just dukes of hazard well a confederate flag any you know items with that depicting the flag on there crazy absolutely insane but that's uh, if you do have anything like that and somebody does make you an offer on it and you haven't had a chance to end it yet, my personal feeling is take the offer because otherwise what are you going to do with it? It's just going to be sitting in a box somewhere. You're not going to really have an outlet for it. Yeah. Take it even if you're losing a couple of dollars on it. Better to move it out and let it go to somebody else's house and let them deal with it at some point and you got the, the cash flow and the money in your pocket. So hopefully uh, you're able to find some of these things, uh, some, some interesting things again as always, and we will see you next video. Stay safe. Take care. Thank you.